Okay, so today video we're going to talk about the accounting equation and common types of accounts. Okay. So our accounting equation is here in blue. It's A plus E equals L plus OE plus R. These are the uh, abbreviations for the words listed here. Asset, expense, liabilities, owner's equity, and revenue. Now, if you know this uh, accounting equation, then you'll know whether you should debit or credit the account. In accounting, a debit means we put the number on the left side. A credit means we put the number on the right side. If I debit an asset or expense, if I put the number on the left side, it makes those numbers bigger. If I put the number on the right side for an L, O, E, or R account, it'll make those numbers bigger. And if we do the opposite, it'll make the numbers smaller. So here I have a little chart, a little cheat sheet for you to look at. And this is what we'll use when we are making our journal entries to our accounts. When we make our journal entries, we want to think about step one, what accounts are being affected. There will be at least two for every business transaction. And then step two, are the accounts getting bigger or smaller? So if we uh, have an expense, will our account for our expense get bigger or smaller? The trick for that is you want to remember that uh, when you get an expense, your expense count will get bigger. Some people think, oh, if I pay, pay the expense, it should get smaller. No, when we pay our expense, it's getting larger. And the reason behind that is if I wanted to look in my records, at my entries and I want to know how much did I pay for rent this year. Every time I pay rent the number should be getting bigger. If it, it was getting smaller every time I paid rent then I would have some negative number for rent and it would look like the landlord owed us money. Okay? So our expense account every time it's paid will get bigger. That's the tricky, the tricky one uh, for people to get uh, a grasp of. But the rest is pretty uh, intuitive if I if I buy something, my cash is going down. I'm spending cash. So that cash is an asset. It's going to decrease. So I'd put the number on the right. Let's look at some common types of accounts. Okay. So I have assets. So cash, uh, AR. AR is money that businesses owe you. Okay. It stands for accounts receivable. Inventory is what you sell. So if you're a bottled water factory, the bottles of water, are, that would be your inventory. If you sell a machine, well, the machine isn't part of your inventory. Okay? A machine would be part of your fixed assets for the bottled water factory example. So fixed assets are other types of assets that uh, buildings, cars, we also call them like property, plant, and equipment, PPE or FA are the abbreviations. List of the types of expenses, common expenses businesses have. Liabilities, so we have accounts payable. Okay. So accounts payable is the opposite of accounts receivable in that accounts payable is money that you owe. Okay. So if you hear the word payable for an account name, it's money that you owe for that account. And receivable is money that someone owes you. Owner's equity, so capital. So my example for uh, what is owner's equity, I use a house. So let's say we buy a $10 million uh, house. Two million of it was our own money. That was our deposit. And then we have a loan for the other eight million. Let's go back to our accounting equation. So the house is a A-E-L-O-U-R. The house is a, it's a building. So it's an asset. So 10 would go here on the left side of the equal sign. We borrow money from the bank. That's money we owe. Money we owe would be a liability. And then the two million that we deposited of our own money is going to be the owner's equity. So if I go back over here, I have 10 equals eight plus two. 
So there's my accounting equation for my little example of a home. So the owner's equity is the part that if we were to sell our, our business, sell all of our assets, and we pay off all of our debt, all of our liabilities, pay off all of our expenses, the part that we get to keep that's left over, that would be the owner's equity. And then revenue, uh, a common type of revenue, so sales revenue. So for our water bottle, water bottle factory, we sell bottles of water. Every time we sell bottles of water, our sales revenue will increase. If I sell a machine from my factory, that is not sales revenue. So sales revenue is from our normal operations when we are selling our inventory. So that's our, let me check our time, our common, those are our common accounts and the accounting equation. For our next video, we'll look at uh, sample questions. So I want you to uh, make a journal entry for these, debit and credit. So think about step one, step two for these business transactions. And in our next video, we'll go over the answers on how to make the journal entries and our trial balance, the chapter two.